Five on your mental health tonight, decoding everything that babies are trying to tell us. I love saying this. We have a new expert on the topic, but she's a familiar face. Dr. <laughs> Erica Lee, a psychologist at Boston Children's Hospital. And now a new mom. The last time we talked to you, that didn't happen. So congratulations. congratulations. We're so happy for you. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see you. I've missed seeing you every yeah, week. We miss seeing you too. It's a, you look great. I know. You look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. So your baby is now four months old. Are you getting any mm -hmm. sleep? Is the question. You well, look it. yes and no. Okay. And, you know, for the parents out there, you know, compared to when they're newborns and they're up every hour or two, you know, getting three or four hours feels pretty glorious now. But you know, like all parents, my husband and I, we're figuring out, you know, what he needs. How is he signaling to us that he's tired, that he's hungry, that he needs a diaper change, right? Or maybe he just needs some extra snuggles. So you know. We're, we're, we're rolling you with find it as your we way. Go. You find your way. You do. Um, you actually took some time off from work. We missed you. Um, and you wanted to bond as a family. Was that time enough? That's a great question. You know, I'm actually re been reflecting on this a lot now that I'm back at work. And I'm so grateful I was able to take that time to recover and just be with my baby because I know it's not something that everyone can do. Those early days after birth are such a haze, right? You're so exhausted. You're caring for a brand new family member. You're also undergoing significant physical recovery. You're trying to keep your home in order. And you're also just trying to savor every moment with this brand new family member. So it really highlights the need for family-friendly policies and laws like the ones we have that provide for paid parental leave because it's a privilege, but it really should be one that every single parent is allowed to use in order to take time to care for their children, but also care for themselves. Uh, let me just interrupt and say it's so much better now in terms of that. So we've <laughs> made incredible progress since I had kids, wow, so many years ago, 24, 26 years ago. So, <laughs> wow. yeah. yeah, of course, you know, you're an expert in child development. Do you think that's giving you an edge now as a parent? Oh, good question. <laughs> That's a great question. Well, you know, I will say that sometimes I think having more knowledge probably actually just makes me a more neurotic mom. <laughs> um, I think I think the most important thing for any of us is understanding that what, what is it that we do know about child development? How do we continue to be nurturing, safe, present parents? And then also acknowledging there really is no perfect way to do it, right? Every child and family is different and kids are really resilient. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself these days when it's really hard and I think that I'm messing it up. No, you're not. And just keep, just keep <laughs> telling yourself that. And you're the expert but I've been there, done that. Enjoy every moment, Dr. Lee. Great to see you back. You look Thank terrific. You so Keep it up and, and enjoy yes. your baby. And congratulations again. Thanks so much.